Good morning. So long time no see you all. It has been a crazy week here. Um, as you guys know, if you, um, I think I mentioned it in the one video the vlog I did last week and then it's been on my social media. So we have um, a pretty big fire right by us. And I mean, just all of Oregon has so many fires. It's scary, it's sad, it's devastating. Um, we have an office down in Southern Oregon from our agency. And um, unfortunately there's been homes lost and coworkers and are been evacuated. And it's, it's just, and even up here, we've had a ton of coworkers be evacuated. So it's just been really hard. And honestly, I just did not feel like picking up the camera and vlogging last week. It was just really, it's just devastating. It's devastating to see it. I can't, st I, I had to finally just pull myself away from the, um, you know, from the media because it, it was just so sad and the smoke here is insane and the air quality is so bad so i've been trying to stay out of the outside um, i had to go grocery shopping saturday um, so we just stayed busy in the house this weekend um, we finally got a bunch of stuff painted got a bunch of stuff hung up we did a bunch of stuff and so i have my little area down around my my desk and I have, we have part of the bathroom done. The bathroom's not completely done. That's what I thought. I might just wait to show it to you until it's completely done, but I'll do a little clips of it anyway. And then the living room is completely done, except for I need to get new curtains still and new blinds. Those will be last. And then the flooring. So other than that, everything we got painted. I mean, I am so sore, you guys. My shoulders, my legs from going up and down the stool and the ladder and all that. Oh my gosh. Um, but the bathroom is still not done. It's painted. And we have a couple things up, but it's not, we don't have everything up because we ran out of screws. So my husband has to get more. Um, my husband has been laid off due to the fires, although there is one job going down into California. So he may do that one this week because the unemployment's all messed up again. Um, it won't let us restart it. And ugh, I don't know. It, it's just, it's all messed up. So anyway, um, so he's going to try to get onto it some job this week um where they're doing loads into california although there's fires down there too so i don't know it's just it's it's it hasn't been a good week <laughs> for sure but we'll get it worked out anyway so um i will show you the stuff in the living room and i'll tell you where i got everything was pretty much from amazon hobby lobby um i had to get some stuff from ross and marshall's and like Dollar General. So I will tell you where I got everything if I can remember and I will put any links of anything I do show you if I can find it um, down in the description box. Like the Amazon stuff, I know I can find it because um, it would be in my orders, but like Hobby Lobby and stuff, just you may just have to go look on there, but I'll try to tell you where I got everything. Um, as far as diet goes, I've actually been doing very well. The scale though is not being my friend and I'm sure it's just stress because I have been doing really well and I've been doing my water really well. I bought myself, I'll try to remember to show it to you, a big gallon jug that I'm just filling up with water, keeping in the refrigerator and pouring from that. And then it kind of just gets, so then I don't have to sit there and count all my cups that come through. And I don't have to like tell myself, oh yeah, I've drank five of these today when I have no idea what I drank. So not necessarily a gallon is my goal, but it's just kind of helped me get my water in, which will help me stop me from snacking and will stop me from grabbing things like diet soda and things like that when I'm thirsty. I can just grab water and it's kind of motivating me to do that. So, um, so I've been doing good, but the scale is just creeping up. So one thing I've kind of decided as I'm, as I'm drinking one of these, <laughs> one thing that I have decided that I'm really, really going to focus on the rest of this month. Now exercise also, exercise is going really well. I've been, I actually got my cheap, this is my cheap, like, um, what is all that? Um, tracker I got off of Amazon. It's not necessarily like the best, but it was cheap and it connects with my phone so I can track my steps. So it just does motivate me to get my steps in. I downloaded an app on my phone called Stand Up to remind me to stand up and move around every half an hour. Um, so it'll send me a reminder for that. So I put that on my phone, but I think I'm gonna try to eat cleaner and just try to not to have as much processed food for the rest of this month because everything else I'm doing really well. So I don't, I think it just has to be stress is the only thing I can think of. Um, 
because even though I'm not like stress eating, I know my body is really under a lot of stress right now with all this stuff going on. It's just scary and sad and I can't even go outside to take a walk so I can't take advantage of the rest of the summer right now um, because the air is so bad like you cannot go out into it. It is, I mean, it's, you can, you can't even see like outside my window here, there's a big hillside of trees. You can't even see that hill. It's, you can't even see beyond the house across the street. You can't even see the houses behind it. That's how thick the smoke is. Um, the fire is a lot further away from us than it was. Um, but it's just devastating. I mean, there's, I think they said in that area, there's over a hundred homes that have burnt and structures and, and plus structures that have burnt out in the two little towns that are out that area. So it's, it's terrible, but I'm just trying to hang in there and, um, just keep going. So anyway, um, that's kind of an update. We're doing good. Um, just like I said, just, just trying to, you know, not think about what the rest of this year is going to bring because it has been terrible for everybody. So that's my plan going on. I'm just going to try to eat cleaner and, um, just like I said, try to stay away from like the processed snacks. I'm going to stick with like, you know, cheese and, um, I don't know, do they consider like pepperoni? I don't even, I think I have a little bit of pepperoni and that's it. I'm going to say they consider pepperoni processed a kind of is because it's like a lunch meat, but I'm talking about like snacks, like packaged snacks and things like that. That's what I'm going to try to stay away from. I'm going to try to stick with, unless the snacks have very clean ingredients and just very few ingredients, that's what I'm going to try to stick with. But I am going to drink this right now because I don't have time to make breakfast. <laughs> so I know kind of contradicting myself because this does have quite a few ingredients in it, but I am... I'm just gonna try to try to do that. Um, my meals this week are gonna be really simple and really clean, so you'll see that. I have no idea what I'm doing for dinner tonight. I don't know, I haven't even thought about it. I have my plan, I just haven't written out my plan what I'm gonna make every day. I haven't done that. But lunch, I did put some chicken in the crock pot yesterday with some of the Thrive Market um, Greek marinade. Oh my gosh, that stuff smelled amazing when it was cooking. So I'm just gonna shred, I have. I just literally got done last night, threw it into a bowl, but I'm gonna shred that up and just make like some like bowls with like some lettuce and tomatoes and avocado and cheese and and just eat it like that. Um, so kind of like a taco bowl without like taco chicken, but it's like Greek chicken. Um, I may make up some of my um, white wine vinaigrette or something to put on the top of that, or it may not even need any dressing. I don't know, the chicken came out super juicy. So um, I wish I would have saved some of the marinade, not put it all into the pot, but it just kind of all dumped in because then I could have used it on my salad, but it's okay. Um, Anywho, so that's kind of a caught up. So I think this will just be a one day video and I'll just show you what I'm eating today. And I will try to show you some decor, but if I don't get into today's video, it for, for sure will be in tomorrow's video. It just kind of depends on what I can get done. And do you see right here, like in between there, there's a puppy in there. You just can't see him, but he's hiding behind the pillows back there. So cute. Okay, I better get back to work. That was my little update for you guys, and I will talk to you guys in a bit. I'm super cold, so I think I'm gonna have some tea. This is only some of my tea drawer. There's the rest of my tea. But I really think I want something fall. I feel like something fall, so I think I'm gonna have some of this one. Do I have one open? I think I do. Ah. Oh no, it's not open. Okay, so I think we're gonna have some of this one. Some of my favorite ones from Trader Joe's. Um, nice folks from my subscribers <laughs> will send these to me because they know that I don't get to Trader Joe's very often. So I had some people send me some of these, but this one's really good. It's like apple-y kind of tasting, really good. Hello, so it is, what time is it? It's about 12, um, 12. 15 so I thought I'd take a quick break to show you guys I'm gonna have some of this Lily's sea salt extra dark chocolate see I say I'm gonna try to eat cleaner but I mean this isn't terrible the ingredients are unsweetened cocoa erythritol uh, cocoa butter sea salt and organic soy le lechin whatever that word is uh, vanilla extract and stevia extract so it's not terrible I mean it could be like so much worse but I tell you guys, it's like I say something out loud and then my body's like, oh, really? That's what you plan on doing? Yeah, that's how my life is. Uh, lunch, let me put it up here. 
I had the best salad and I actually am full. Like I don't even, I may not even eat this chocolate, but I'm just putting it out there just in case I may eat some because I'm not really hungry. It's just like I'm wanting something. And so I'm trying to drink my water, which I'm doing super well with my water. I tell you guys that jug, a big water jug is the way to go. Honestly, it is the way to go. Um, I am, oh, lunch. So lunch, <laughs> sorry, focus. Um, I had some of that chicken that I told you I put in the crock pot with that Greek marinade. So I had some of that on the bottom of my bowl and then I put a little bit of cheese on top of that and then some romaine lettuce and some um, avocado and tomato and then I topped it off with some of that white wine vinaigrette dressing that I told you guys about. Um, I think I had it in one of my what's for dinner videos. Some one time in the last like two or three videos I had that and it's just literally like white wine vinegar. Um, a little bit of Dijon mustard and avocado oil and then some spices and that's it. It's like an apple cider vinegar, I think maybe in there. I don't know. It's super easy and it is amazing and it lasts forever and I just leave it on my counter. Otherwise it gets super like hard in the refrigerator. So good though. So good. So I had that for lunch and it was so filling. So you guys, keto can be so simple. You don't have to make it hard. Last night's dinner, um, and I will have it in my what's for dinner video, but last night's dinner was I made a Cajun like cauliflower rice. So literally just took some green peppers, some onions, some um, celery, and I just sauteed it up in a little bit of avocado oil. And then I added in a package of avocado rice. No, first I added in a whole package of the Cajun andouille sausages. And um, I just sliced those up, put those in there. And then I got the sausages all nice and kind of crispy and then threw the cauliflower rice on top, which I had put in the microwave for a few minutes to thaw out. And then I added in a tablespoon of the Cajun blackened seasoning that I love to use on chicken. And I put that in there, mixed it up, sauteed it up, and boom, that was dinner. Clean, healthy, and um, so filling. It was so good, but it was spicy. That Cajun seasoning is spicy with the Cajun sausages and the Cajun seasoning, mm, but it was so good. I think tonight, tonight's dinner, I'm going to do the Mexican zucchini and beef. It's literally, you guys, it's so easy. It's like ground beef. You add some zucchini in there and I like my zucchini to be a little bit crisp. So I add the zucchini in there and then you add in some taco seasoning, which I just make my own. And I think some tomatoes. I think I add in the, like the Rotel tomatoes in there. That's it. That's it. So easy. So you guys, you can do simple keto meals. You don't have to do anything fancy. You don't have to do this, you know, fancy stuff you see um, all on. Those are fun to do. Like it's fun to do like some fancy stuff, but you don't have to. You definitely don't have to. You can make it so easy and simple and it's easy to eat it, eat clean keto as well. It's just hard to do sometimes. You know, sometimes you just want something that's not necessarily clean. It's just easy and convenient, but just going to try. I'm going to try my best to do clean the rest of this month. I'm going to try my best, but I'm not going to guarantee I'll be a hundred percent, but it does feel a bit good to be back here talking with you guys. And I just, I missed it. I just didn't really, it wasn't in a good mood last week. So I'm hoping things go better today. Um, but I think I definitely will do the tour of everything tomorrow because um, I'm running out of time today and my break is almost up. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off here until dinner time and I will see you guys then. For dinner tonight, I decided to do leftovers just so I could keep my refrigerator cleaned out. So I'm having the Cajun cauliflower rice with the Cajun sausage. Again, I will share this with you in my what's for dinner video, but this is a super simple meal. Again, keto doesn't have to be hard and clean keto doesn't have to be hard. This was an easy meal. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.